coming to your second question that what if one of you goes to Jannah with number one will Allah forgive you as I told in the earlier part of the answer that if you sincerely seek forgiveness and do the five criteria which are required inshallah Allah will forgive you but after you ask for forgiveness you cannot go back and do the haram thing so get married or wait for a few months or a couple of years and then get married they are taking a second part of the question that what if one of you enters Jannah can you pray for Allah to get your the girl into Jannah now depending if you married her the answer is different if you don't marry the answer is different if you marry her and if she becomes your wife then Allah says in Surah Tur chapter number 52 verse number 21 that as to the believers who have faith and the children who follow them Allah will join them together this verse of the Quran is talking about family members including the spouses and the children that if you have Iman and your family members have Iman inshallah Allah will join you together in paradise Allah says in Surah Rod chapter number 13 verse number 23 that Allah has promised Eden everlasting paradise for those believers who are righteous and also for the righteous amongst them amongst the believers who are righteous if they have righteous parents and righteous spouses and righteous children even they will join them in Jannah so here Allah is talking about that if the believer has Iman and has righteous deed they shall go to Jannah and even the family members will join them and it says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not degrade the person than the deeds we have done that means a person can be uplifted in Jannah but cannot be degraded one of the family members if the father if the mother is on a higher level of Jannah and the son is on a lower level the father will not be brought lower but the son will be taken to a higher level so there are various verses in the Quran which talk about that the family will be reunited the husband and wife the parents and the children if they are righteous and if they have iman they will be united in the in the jannah and and allah further says in surah zukhruf chapter number 43 verse number 71 that as to those as to those who do righteous deed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will surely put them in jannah onto a higher level that means the family members surely put to Jannah. Regarding the question that if you go to Jannah, can you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the girl to come in Jannah? If you have married her and if you go to Jannah, surely you can ask. And if she's righteous, she has Iman, she's righteous, inshallah she'll join you. But if you do not marry her and what you did with her was haram, you have asked for forgiveness, Allah will forgive you. Allah says in Surah Zukhruf, chapter number 43, verse number 71, that Allah fulfills the desires of the believer who is righteous and who is in Jannah. That means if you go to Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill all your desires. So your question is that if you marry her and if you go to Jannah, surely if you ask for her, she will also be brought to Jannah if she dies as a Muslim and if she has righteous deed. But if you do not marry her, then whatever you ask will be fulfilled. But the question is, if you have not married her, and if you go to Jannah, you will surely realize that what you have done was wrong. And that time, you will not desire her. Because you being a good Muslim, and once you enter Jannah, the sins that you do, you will realize them. And if you have asked for forgiveness and Allah has forgiven you, you will not want to do the same thing. Of course for you, there will be better women. There will be your wives. There will be other ladies. And surely the ladies that you will get will never want you to have that girl which with you had relationship with your haram. Maybe she marries a good past man. Even she will come to Jannah. Possible. But you will not be together. If you do not marry her, and if she married another Muslim, and both of them are pious, both of you will be in Jannah, 
But if you did not marry, you will not be together. You will not be joined together. Because your relationship in the world was haram. You did not marry. If you married her, inshallah you will be together. But if you did not marry her, neither will you desire her. You will have other options which are better. She will have other options which are better than you. So she will be with good pious men. And you will be with other women. You will not be joined if you are not husband and wife. But your desire will be fulfilled. You will not desire for wrong things. Hope they answered the question.